I'm going to draw some solution curves for a differential equation using Mathematica. So they're going to be approximate solution curves, not actual solutions. And I'm going to define uh, the function. It's x times 3 minus x. Let me suppress that output. And then the command that's going to compute the approximate solution curves is called ndsolve. And this is telling Mathematica to kind of numerically solve the differential equation. So I need to define the equation x prime of t equals equals f of x of t. Mathematica needs to know really specifically that I'm thinking of x as depending on time. And I want it to find x, and let me have it find x from time zero to time five. Um, and I'm forgetting that I need to give Mathematica an initial condition for it to make an approximate solution curve. Each approximate solution curve corresponds to a different initial condition. Oh, x of zero equals equals 0.01. So I got all my syntax right, and it's given me a preview of what that looks like. I'm just going to suppress the preview, and I'm going to use a plot command to plot. Oh, so I need to save this to a variable. Maybe I'm going to call this solution 1, solution 1. And I'm going to go from time 0 to time 5. OK, and there it is. If I were to start at 0.01 and run this model forward in time, I approach 3 after a relatively short time. And then let me add some axis labels. And I'm just going to call it x. And let me um, make the line a little thicker. Oh, way too thick. OK, great. Um, let me add some more. So let me start from a different initial condition. Maybe I'm going to start above the attracting fixed point. So I'll start up at 4. And if I want to plot two things at once, I put them in a list together, which happens using braces. Okay, and maybe um, I'll actually plot a case that starts below the axis, so negative zero point, point one. Oh, and okay, actually this thing is going to ex like the zero is an unstable fixed point, and so anything that starts below it is exploding away to negative infinity. And so I wasn't able to keep integrating because it got too big. So I'm just going to integrate for one time unit there. And x of x of t slash dot solution 3. OK, and actually, I don't, it dropped to like negative 15,000 within that time. And I don't want to see that. I want to be able to see the structure. So I'm going to add a plot range command. And I still want all of time. But I want the vertical, the x, to just go from like negative 1 to 4. Oh, maybe negative 2, so that we can watch that decay. And I'd also like to add the two equilibrium solutions, the fixed points, where if we start at them, we stay at them. I don't actually need to integrate to find those. I know that if I start at 0, I should stay at it for all time. And if I start at 3, I stay at it for all time. OK, so let me put a title on this. Uh, plot label approximate solutions. Awesome. 